try to look for something that's going to make things your life easier. All right. What if I had like a y equals and then I had an e to the x minus an e to the negative x all over two. All right. What if that's my function? All right. What I don't want you guys to do is I don't want you just to automatically go, oh, that's a quotient. I'm going to do quotient rule. All right. I mean, some of you might like quotient rule and with the two in the bottom, it, that's a constant. So, I mean, it might not be too bad, but wouldn't it be easier if I rewrote this as y equals, if I took, if I pull out that one half times an e to the x minus an e to the negative x. All right. Because then what? I could do product rule, but the first term, I could do product rule, but the first term there is a one half, which means every, that second part of the, the product rule is going to fall out because the derivative of one half is going to be zero. Or so it's really constant multiplier rule. Okay. Go to the one half down there, take the derivative of that. All right. So either way you want to look at that, whether you do the full product rule or whether you do constant multiplier rule, it's going to make it a lot simpler if I do this. All right. So I'll have a one half, all right, times the derivative here, okay? Now, derivative of e to the x, just going to e to the x, e to the u, u prime, my u being the x, derivative of x is one. So I have an e to the x, all right? Now, I've already got a minus sign here, okay? Now, if I take the derivative of e to the negative x, all right, derivative of negative x is negative one, so it's a negative e, to the negative x, all right? So a negative e to the negative x, which then what? Really makes this a plus plus in here, okay? All right, now, if I finished out product rule, it would be the second term there, e to the, let's see, the negative x times the derivative of the one half, which would be zero, see? So that's why you don't really need to do the whole entire product rule. That's why it's constant multiplier rule, all right? And then, um, I actually, I could leave it like that. I could put it back in the form that the original function was if I wanted, all right? I'd probably just stop, but you could do e to the x plus e to the negative x all over two if I wanted to make it look more like my original problem, okay? But again, if you should always be looking, well, okay, here's the function they give me. All right, do I actually wanna use that function or do I wanna to try to manipulate it a little bit better so that it's um, maybe easier to work out, all right? Now.